Smart Cook for Kid Plains Magazine. Welcome to another factory tour. We're north of Salt Lake City, Utah at Matco Manufacturing. Matco, as you can see by the table in front of me, makes a wide variety of products. The three principal ones are wheels and brakes, uh, master cylinders, and of course they make some tail wheels. Uh, the cool thing about Matco is that the vast majority of the manufacturing is done right here in Salt Lake City. Uh, there's a, a, a shop behind us with CNC machines. They cast their own aluminum for some of the wheels. And it's a fascinating process. Uh, we're, and we're going to take a look at uh, how the process works in just a minute. But first, let's hear from the company president, George Happ, who's going to tell us a little bit about it. OK, well, we're in our manufacturing cell. Uh, this is the area where we do all of our mostly aluminum manufacturing here, aluminum machining. Uh, we've kept this cell close. You can see that uh, all the machines are located, so we've got easy flow from turning operations to milling operations. Uh, our philosophy has been to keep the uh, manufacturing here. It gives us uh, the ability to control our throughput. Uh, if we have prototype designs that we're working on or if we've got a special order that's kind of out of sequence with our manufacturing process, it allows us to respond uh, rapidly and without a lot of uh, added cost when uh, that's the case. Uh, we do manufacturing here for the wheels, for the brakes, uh, all of the master cylinders, our tailwheel components. There are some stamped items where we just own the uh, stampings. There is some manufacturing that we do even on uh, those components. Um, we've got three turning centers. We've got two milling centers here. And uh, it really gives us the flexibility we need for all of our components. That's on the fact that uh, we do our own casting here. We do a very specific type of casting. It's called centrifugal casting. So this is actually made in a spinning mold. We're pouring hot aluminum into a spinning mold that gives us the ability to control uh, the porosity and the uh, material properties in the finished product. It gives us an excellent uh, end result. And then we do, depending on the, the type of wheel, up to about 70% of it will be machined off of this casting. But it gives us not only the ability to control uh, the quality of the casting, but also our throughput, our, our cost, the time to cast, when we choose to cast, and uh, ability to respond to changes in the marketplace for specific wheels. This is the hydraulic test area of our uh, facility. All of our hydraulic components, whether it's the park brake valves or master cylinders, we do a 100% test. And this test uh, stand here will test both the static and the uh, dynamic pressures. There's uh, basically four seals in there that are being tested. And this simple test will uh, touch all of them so that we know every hydraulic component goes out of here uh, leak-free and functional. We make a line of uh, tail wheels that have kind of a unique release system. We call it a geometric release. Um, that means it releases based on geometry, not on load. We make it in a six inch uh, pneumatic that I've got here, six inch solid, uh, six, eight inch, and then an eight inch uh, wider tire. We also make a seven inch uh, as well. My background was in uh, commercial aviation uh, at uh, Honeywell. Uh, we did testing of uh, large wheels and brakes, MD-11. Uh, the dynamometers I'm accustomed to were 120 inch in diameter, but the same concepts apply here. Uh, this diameter, or, I mean, this dynamometer is a 30 inch. Uh, it's able to do all of the testing that we did on the big ones. Uh, we can run rejected takeoffs here. We can do uh, roll testing. We can do endurance testing, the 100 stop test, et cetera. Uh, we are able to measure velocities, pressures, uh, speeds, and time, and extract all the data that we need. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Matco Manufacturing. It's been a fascinating visit. And it's interesting to note that this is a company that serves primarily the experimental market, although it does do custom work, and has been growing very nicely from year to year. If you want to learn more about the company and its products, visit www.matcomfg.com. This has been Mark Cook for Kit Plains Magazine. Thanks for watching.